hello all welcome to soska tutorials and uh, in this tutorial i am going to discuss about array tools yep the three array tools rectangular polar and path array they are the tools which comes in handy if you want to make multiple objects using a single object they'll save you time and also money in some cases so let us start with a rectangular array so before starting rectangular array i'll make a object which we want to copy let us say that we want to copy the circle into rows and columns and we want to make five rows and 10 columns of this circle with a certain gap between each of the rows and columns so i'll go ahead and select this rectangular array tool click on array make sure that this rectangular array is selected so expand it it's better if you expand it and click on this rectangular array so click here rectangular array now select object and press enter a default array will be created something like this now we'll make our changes as per the requirement as i said you that i need five rows and 10 columns so let's change those things first i'll go to this column ribbon and this ribbon a temporary ribbon of array creation appears once you just initiate this array command so go to columns and make it 5 uh, sorry make it 10 and press enter now here we have our 10 columns if you want to add this distance between two uh, entities in column you can do so by this so for example i want to change the distance and make it 2 so click on 2 and enter now the distance between two corresponding points of this object and this object and any other objects is same let's say that i'll select this center so the distance between this center and the center of this corresponding circle is 2 units as i've selected here and this distance will be adjusted based upon number of objects which you see here so you don't have to worry about this once you adjust the distance this will be automatically adjusted so now let's go to other option that is rows so i'll change this to 5 and press enter now we have five rows and the distance between them is uh, still 2 so let's change it to 2.2 and enter now the distance is changed to 2.2 you can see the effect if you want to change by making a larger change like a change of 3 units so i'll just keep it at 2.2 enter now here we have our array so you're familiar with these two options let's move ahead to levels here you'll find only a single level Let's change it and see what it have what effect it creates. So press three, enter. Now we have three levels, but visibly it's not making any change on the screen. I think we must be missing something. Let's go ahead and change it to 3D view. Okay, here it is. See, actually, the object has been created into three layers on z-axis. So basically, we are making this array along z-axis in the 3D plane. So that is what a level does. If you want to change it to three units, you'll see that the gap between these two levels will change subsequently. Okay, let's exit this thing and move ahead to our other options. So I'll go ahead and click on this top icon and it will return to normal. I'll change this level to one again since we are working on two D drawing. So it's better to keep it at one. Now here we have an associative marker. If you'll keep this associative option on this array will be selected as a common entity once you click on any of the circle a complete array will be selected and also it will be a editable array you can click on this array and edit it even after creating this as long as this is associative so i'll keep this associative in this example and in other example i'll just make it non associative for now let's keep it associative now the base point our main circle this one and its center here this makes the base point you can change this base point to anywhere you like so click on the base point specify your new base point and here you go you can change the location of grips and with these grips you can make changes uh, without using this ribbon as well so this was all in rectangular array now to exit close array or press escape close array Now here we have our array. 
click on any of the object and the complete array will be selected and you'll see that array creation ribbon appears once again with a few more options here so i'll just tell you about these options also in the end but let's now stick with these things only so that is what an associative array does if you want to change this associative array into a normal object that is you want to convert all these circles into individual objects just explode it so go to home and click on explode now all the objects are separated they are separate elements and you are no longer able to edit these objects as array you won't be able to make edits on these objects using array tools now as long as it, it is associative you are able to make changes so let's now move ahead to other array that is polar for polar array i'll select a rectangle here and for the sake of simplicity i'll make a circle as well but the circle is not mandatory so please take care of that so i made the circle and this rectangle as well now let's suppose i want to make an array of this rectangle on this path that is i want to just make copies of this rectangle on this circle so for that i'll select polar array select polar array select your object and press enter now at the specify center point click on the center of the circle click it and here you'll find all the uh default array that you can see here in our default array we have number of objects 6 let's change it to 20 and here we have 20 objects now this is the angle between the two objects and this one is the complete angle we can change any of the entities now there is a little bit of restriction once you change this angle to 70 degrees this angle changes automatically and now whatever change you will make here will appear within this limit of 270 degrees so when let's return this value to uh, 360 normal and uh, go ahead and change this make it 15 now once you make it to 15 degrees you'll see that this array is occupying only this much of a space and whatever the angle it has occupied is mentioned here so you can change it to 360 and you'll see that this angle is returned back to its original 18 degrees value you can do these changes as per your requirement now let's go to rows here we have a single row make it 3 and you can clearly see the difference between this now change this gap to 2 make it 4 uh, that is better now the distance between these two rows is 4 and what that actual distance is the distance is uh the distance between two consecutive points that is if you'll select this point then you have to select this point of another line and the distance between this and this one is 4 units similarly distance between this point and this point is 4 units or distance between this point and the corresponding this point is 4 units distance between this midpoint and this midpoint is 4 units so whatever two corresponding point you select their distance will be 4 units now levels now you might have guessed what levels is so i won't elaborate it 3 enter and here we have our levels on z axis i have explained it in the previous example of uh, normal rectangular array so let's not go into depth here now move ahead to associative in the previous example i have created this array with pre associative option turned on now in this example i'll just turn this option off so click on this associative now this array will be created but once this is created you won't be able to edit it so it's a non editable array all the objects can be selected separately irrespective of any other uh, making a selection of this complete array now rotate items uh you know that this one you know that this one was our original rectangle but when you'll see closely you'll find that these rectangles are rotated at certain angles and once this completes a complete 360 degree revolution this rectangle returns back to its original state what i am saying 
will be clear once you click on this icon just click on this icon and there you go so what happened you can see clearly click on this again and you'll see the change here so you can simply guess what the difference it's making so you can make any of the selection any type of selection that you want to make here now close this array and here we have our non associative array all the objects are separate and you cannot make any changes on this array since it is a non associative one so this was our polar array and remember that we don't need the circle to make this polar array i just made it to make it more clear to you now let's move ahead to our third option that was path array for path array we need two things the first one is our object in this example i'm using this rectangle and for path i'll use an spline a spline like this now let's use path array click on path array select object and press enter now select path curve and here we have the array on this path along this path now here you can see that you cannot change number of items here but you can change the distance between these two items so let's decrease this distance to 8 and the number of items will increase subsequently if you want to change the distance between these two items and you don't want to change this uh this uh, oh, sorry if you don't want to change the distance but you want to change the number of items on this array you can do so by changing this parameter over here now click on this icon here and change it to divide once you click on divide you'll see that this option of distance between two entities is turned off and this is on now you can change number of items and once you click on number of items to change it the distance between subsequent items will be adjusted automatically so this is how you are going to make the changes and the other options like levels rows they are common even associative base points yes you'll find few other options tangent and z direction they are quite different but we're not going to discuss, discuss these things now here we have one more option align items once you click on this icon you can see the difference all these arrays have this original rectangle orientation retained but once you click on align items it will align as per the curvature of this path so here's the difference you can appreciate it you can see this and uh, we'll just find the difference it's easy now close array and here we have our array now let's say we want to make an editable array an array that we want to edit after making as i have discussed earlier that i will tell you about an editable array that is associative array so let's make one associative array here we have this one and uh, i'll use rectangular array select this object enter now let's click on this icon associative and close it now this array is associative and we can make edits because when you click on this it will uh, make a ribbon a temporary ribbon it will appear and you can make changes using these icons here now let us suppose i want to replace this original uh, source material so that all the array objects will be replaced i just want to replace this circle with a rectangle so now go to edit source and click on the array here it is now this circle is editable go ahead and change it so i'll just select a rectangle here and i'll delete this thing we are done now here you will see some new things save changes discard changes click on save changes and voila here is the change your array is completely different so dear friends these are the options that you are going to use in array tools and yes these array tools will be used for 3d as well they are quite easily applicable as here we have seen they are easily applicable in 3d as well in the same form although we have 3d array a different array in 3d but that we'll discuss in our other tutorial so thank you friends for watching if you have any doubt keep me posted on comments have a nice day